Back off at YouTube, let us make some coconut green seasoning rice and some oven jerk chicken. In this bowl, I have four chicken legs. I already cleaned it with lime and vinegar and I left the skin on, okay? This is rinsed properly already. First thing I wanna do is to just add a little oil on here like so. And we're also just gonna add a little sea salt. And we're gonna be putting some of these whole peppercorns that I already put some pimento berries in there as well. Guys, nice little trick. putting some chicken seasoning as well some garlic powder of course onion powder some of my beautiful jerk seasoning I just blended this up this morning guys it's nice and thick and we are gonna throw in just a little bit of browning about half a teaspoon of browning okay Mix it up. Okay guys, so there you have it. Looking brilliant. Guys, this looks so good. So fresh. This is seasoned beautifully. Can you see it? Guys, this is gonna be so full of flavor. Now you can always choose to marinate this overnight. For two hours, it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to pop mine in the fridge for at least half an hour because I'm making lunch. You guys know I always like to share what I make for lunch with you. So half an hour into my fridge and I will come back and show you when it's all done. Okay. So this is the baking tray that I will be using and I'm just going to lightly coat it with some oil. Okay. This is what I will be baking my jerk chicken on. And I'm just going to be placing the pieces on here like so, guys. How, how beautiful. How beautiful. And as you know, we have only four pieces. Guys, this is going to be so flavorful, so gorgeous. I'm just putting the leftover jerk seasoning on the top like so, okay? This is all I am doing. Okay, the flavor in this is going to be amazing. See this, my loves? That looks so good. My oven has also been preheated to 200 degrees. I'm going to be roasting this for an hour and 10, 15 minutes. I will take it out when it's about 30 minutes into the oven so we can baste it with the juices that it would have created, okay? Into my oven we go for an hour and 10 minutes. I'm going to come back and show you how it's looking after half an hour, okay? So guys, there you have it. It's been about 30 minutes in the oven. And as you can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous, guys. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go ahead and just flip them over, guys, because we want underneath to get some color as well, okay? So just flip it over like so, okay?
So guys, back into the oven we go for a further half an hour. I'm gonna come back and baste it and then we're gonna give it that last 10-15 minutes for some nice color, okay? So back into the oven we go. If you follow me on Instagram, I actually made some coconut oil a few days ago. Um, I don't have a recipe for my homemade coconut oil. The thing is my kitchen is a little bit cold, so you find that this coconut oil has sort of crystallized just a little bit, okay? But it will just melt so easily when I put it into the pot. So you wanna put a generous amount of coconut oil in there. Listen, very, very easy. We're gonna be making some delicious coconut green seasoning rice, okay? So you wanna allow your oil to melt. Guys, if you can smell this, when I tell you, this smells so good. So now we're gonna be going in with our onions and our bell peppers and we're gonna be frying this till it's nice and translucent okay my heat is also on a low heat because i want this to caramelize and not burn okay we want this to be nice and translucent guys this is gonna be so tasty like i can't even you. so good so now I'm just gonna go in and add my green seasoning I'm actually putting about two heaping tablespoons this is just the leftover green seasoning from the green seasoning I made yesterday for yesterday's lunch okay guys so and you just want to fry that up in there like so make sure to keep your heat on a low to medium okay nice and low we want this to cook nice and slow now i'm just gonna lightly season this with a little bit of salt some black pepper of course i'm adding just a little curry powder for some color and you want to just stir that up Over here I have my coconut milk and I'm just adding about two heaping tablespoonfuls in here like so. Okay, and you just want to stir that up. Okay, when I tell you this is going to be flavorful, right? This is going to be so good. So good. I'm also going to be adding some water in here. About a cup of water roughly is all you need. Now you want to allow this to simmer for at least five minutes, okay? Just want to cook the coconut milk just a little bit, okay guys? And I tell you, this is looking brilliant. So guys, after about five minutes, this is where you want to go in with your washed rice, okay? You can use white rice, brown rice, basmati rice. I'm using some basmati rice today. Stir it up to combine everything. So now I'm just going to turn down the heat and allow this to steam for about 10 minutes till it's nice and fluffy. So guys, I am also frying some plantains and all I did was just cut the plantain in half and just cut it into small pieces, okay? Very, very easy to do. This is just a little something extra to add to my beautiful rice and jerk chicken, okay? Okay guys, so my rice had been steaming for the past 10 minutes guys look at that so so pretty and i'm just fluffing it up guys look at how amazing this is looking guys and this is gonna be so full of flavor when i tell you man so good just make sure to fluff it up 
beautifully. Guys, look at how gorgeous this is looking. Okay, and over here I have my beautiful fried plantains that we're going to be tossing in here like so. Okay, so just toss it in, all of it, guys. I just want to spread it out, sort of just spread it on the top. Guys, you see how beautiful this is looking? Oh my goodness, guys, that looks so good. Okay, this rice is off the chain. Oh, guys, I just cannot wait to dive in. All right, it's time to just go in with our beautiful jerk chicken pieces, okay? Just sort of just press it down on here. Guys, how beautiful, how amazing does it look? Guys, how amazing. Oh my goodness, guys. That looks so, so brilliant. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now we need to fit that last piece in, okay? It's only right to fit all the four pieces in, okay? Look at that. Look at that, guys. When I tell you I'm not playing games, this looks so good. Now you just want to fluff it up, fluff it up, fluff it up. And then you just sort of want to go in with your basil. Yes, guys, go in with your basil. Just garnish them wherever you'd like. Guys, look at that. Look at that. This delicious pan can be served straight to your dinner table. Straight to your dinner table. Courtesy of Terrian's Kitchen, of course. Oh my goodness. How amazing does look wow just wow so i hope you enjoyed the recipe if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel it is a pleasure having you here of course and i'll see you again in my next one thank you so much for watching Bye bye